My name is Tim Folden. I am the CamWorks Manager here at Hawkridge Systems. I'm going to show you the difference between our standard toolpath and the volume mill toolpath. So our standard toolpath, this part is actually 1018 material. It's our mouse feature that you actually see inside of our examples. So if I pick on the three axis rougher, I'm going to choose a tool that is inch and a quarter in diameter. It's a three flute carbide insert. My next thing is I have a feed rate set here at a surface feed of 500 surface feet, which is about 1500 RPM, 5000 chip load, which is almost 23 inches a minute. And I can plunge it at 25 inches a minute because I'm doing a pocket in with a core, which allows the tool to actually come in outside the material. So and that's what I chose here. You can see pocket in with a core, pocket in, pocket out. So I'm going to pick on that one for now with a 50% step over. And my area clearance, you can see here, I stepped my tool down about an eighth of an inch at a time, which gives me a nice little waterfall look for when I come in back in with the finished tool to actually finish the surfaces. If I look at the statistics, you can see this took about 45 minutes to run. So you'll see a video run in here in a minute, and it actually took 45 minutes to run that part. And you can see the difference between this and volume mill uh, on these two videos that I've actually made. Now, if you look at this, as I go through, you can see this. If I hit OK right here, you can actually see the simulate toolpath. So I'm just going to right click on that rougher, simulate the toolpath to show you it runs the same here in CamWorks as it's actually running on the machine. So you can see the nice step down it's taking there. It's working its way in, removing all the material. And once it's done with that, it's going to pull out and it's going to come in and do the next step down. So that is our simulator running and showing what's going to happen on the actual machine. Now on the second half of this video, this is where I show you volume mill running. So if I pick on this, I can go through and set it up as the volume mill. You can see I have the tool set as a half inch cutter. I use a four flute carbide cutter. My feed rates now have changed a lot. My surface feed is no longer 500 surface feet. It's a little over 1,000 surface feet, which give me a spindle speed of 8,000 RPM. So my machine does up to 10,000, but I'm just showing you running at eight. If you go you know, 12,000, 7,500, whatever it is, you can set that here. And then the feet per tooth is set a lot heavier. You can see the feet per tooth is actually set up as 0 .0072, which gives me 230 inches a minute, as opposed to 23 inches a minute. My pattern, set the volume mill. Step over is a little bit different. It's not 50%, it's now 12%. So I have that because I'm running a half inch cutter, one inch deep. Then on my area clearance, my max cut amount is set to one inch. So I'm taking a half inch cutter and 1018 steel, going down one inch and starting to cut the material. And then I have a cut amount of eighth of an inch. And you can see what it does. It actually steps its way back up the surface of the part to be able to do that. If you look at my statistics here, I have it set at six and a half minutes. So I've gone from 45 minutes down to six and a half minutes just by using the volume mill. If I hit OK right here and I go simulate my toolpath, you can actually see that it actually plunges all the way down one inch deep and starts cutting the material and removing it.
So I'm going to do a little recap here. I'm going to keep this simple. I'm just going to take an eight hour day based off 60 minutes an hour. So I'm going to take 60 minutes. I'm going to times out by eight hour day. Now I know everybody does things differently based off breaks and lunch and things like that. But just to give you an idea, I'll take 480 minutes. I'm going to divide that by 45 minutes is what it took originally to rough the part not using volume mill. I'm going to hit equal and I have 10 and a half parts per day that I can actually machine here. Now I'm going to clear that, use the same math. I'm going to do 60 times an eight hour day. Gets me back to the same 480 minutes. I'm going to divide that now by six and a half minutes with the new roughing using volume mill. When I hit equal, I get almost 74 parts now per day. So I've gone from 10 and a half parts a day to almost 74 parts per day by just using volume mill inside of Camworks. Thanks again for watching.